the NHL and the Ducks have reached the end of a 56 game schedule. I have the expectation going into training camp next year that we're going to be competitive. Big night for this draft. Happy and excited to draft the Peterborough Pete's hockey team, Mason McTavish. This guy is a warrior. He has an NHL shot and body right now. I love his game. The first question has to be about your decision to sign a one-year deal with Anaheim. You know, ultimately, Anaheim has always been where my heart is. I was really glad to be able to get something like that done. I know going into the season, you always have uh, high expectations. There was a little bit of a sense of relief, I think, you know, the way last year went, the way the COVID restrictions, all that kind of stuff kind of hindered the way we were able to do things and operate. For game number one of this brand new season. You know, I think everyone has come in pretty ready to uh, to take another step. Stay up, stay up, go, 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 by himself. Skate, skate, time! The fine line between playing with that and, and being a successful team is we have to make sure that our work comes first. that next step and come together as a team and, and surprise some people because going into the season not many uh, in the media will believe Anaheim will make the playoffs but uh, uh, as a player I always believed too whether we were ranked to be a top team or middle team or at the bottom I'm going no why not us hey there's lots of places our, our team can get uh, get better this year um, and I could give you this big number that you'll just go, oh, how are we going to do this? It's always better to break things down, okay? And, but what we literally need to do is not every night, every other night, if we could give up half a goal less. And if on that every other night we could score half a goal more, we're, we're going to be right in the thick of it. I think after the last game of the season, it, it left us wanting more. We, we felt like we were starting to come together as a team. Our younger guys were starting to take steps. Um, we were rallying around that and we were staying positive and uh, hopefully all lessons that we can carry into this year. We, we spoke about we want guys that consistently compete, consistently care, Your mindset right now is how that you can win today. That's where we've got to demand those habits that push our standards up high. It's been always exciting coming in, kind of like starting a new chapter. And uh, training camp is exciting because it's like it's a fresh start. And uh, guys are coming in. You've seen all the guys again after summer and. Uh, no, training camp is always special and it's like kind of like you start to get the legs underneath you and you just kind of see, see and get yourself, your body and everything ready for, for, uh, for the season. Read the gap, so my D gapping up um, and again re-attack two on two and we'll play it out. This guy will take off and this guy will take off. So again, you'll step, you'll receive a pass, pass back and again you'll come up, this guy will come, make the pass and then he starts. I think guys have been in, in good spirits. Um, I think we're trying to raise the compete level. I think that's kind of been the theme from the coaches that um, we got to get better this year and we got to win today and um, we got to raise the compete if we want if we want to get to that goal. Okay, what's going to happen is we'll have the one forward here, blow the whistle, coach is going to lay it in through there, into the corner, okay? Want this guy to get the puck, maybe a little deception. We want the puck changing sides behind the net. You know, anytime the, the coaching staff changes, you got to pay closer attention in meetings to you know certain terminology and stuff and um, they bring a little bit of different outlook on things. I think you should have both of them right. in your repertoire. Right. These guys have been really good I think so far they've been um, very assertive um, in, in, in what direction they want to go and what direction they want to help push this team to. Questions? Good. Let's go boys. Let's go. Let's set it up.
look up here. And right to the lines now. Try to tilt your head. This is my, I think it's my 12th, 12th one. Um, so I'd like to think that I'm becoming uh, better at, you know, my lines and reading on screen and all the rest of it. But you know, I wasn't, uh, wasn't born to be an actor by any means. Let's do it. <laughs> Grab the weapon. All right. Oh, hey. I was like, am I sitting on the bench? Right? What's going on? I heard there was some guy out here wearing my number. I was like, what the heck? Looking good. Thank you. Uh, action. It's been a lot of stations going from place to place and jumping on the ice, doing a little stick handling. And go ahead and turn towards the camera. I'm not a big smiler. <laughs> Look at this, eh? Budget's gone up. Oh no, I actually have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, it's, it's good. I, I kind of like the, doing this stuff. I don't know, it's just fun. <laughs> I didn't notice how the A was on it. <laughs> Got it? That's a wrap right there. No tomato. With a brand new season, comes a lot to be excited about. The way that the talent is dispersed really serves the team well. This season is all about the kids for the Ducks. So when you look at the roster now, when do you expect this team to sort of turn that corner? Come on, boys. Get off the Obviously, we're building something here, and, and Bob's had a plan for the last couple of years, and we got to get moving on it. Now, we have to walk the walk, and you're looking at this team as a uh, perspective up-and-up team that's got a lot of skill up front, a lot of young guys with a lot of skill, uh, some core guys on, on defense that have been around for a little while, and, and great goaltending. We certainly missed fans last year, but I don't think we're going to understand, you know, the, the atmosphere that was gone, you know, until we, we were immersed back into it. I'm looking forward to the noise of the fans the most, uh, just the energy that they bring. Ducks fans are the best in the world. I mean, it's it's so much fun to play in front of and, and we're ready to play hockey in front of you guys again.